Greetings and welcome back to some more long war. Some more blaster bombs. Central, this is Big Sky. Confirm signal uplink. Some more terror. Strike team is in position near the terror site. Awaiting confirmation. Solid copy, Big Sky. Strike one has been given the green light. Your highest priority is to protect those civilians. Looks like it's one of those missions where you don't get any high cover to move to. Um, so we do have some red dots either inside or up. Kind of two ways to play this. Do we want to go for a reckless turn one activation here? And that way I don't have to worry about concealment, I can just for probably throw a battle scanner to remove um, other enemies or prevent other enemies from activating. Moving. Let's see. Got something over here. How bad no, can it be? Go. Okay. Took drones and crap. We don't have a shot on that guy. So here's the question, toggling flight. Does that cost an action or not? It's great, you have shots on everything except on the sector part. But, I mean, listen to me. How about we improve our line of sight here? the height. Take down the wall. Show me a uh, scatter again. You, you're not supposed to scatter. shot so we can disabling shot that guy fantastic that means I can also see going airborne. going airborne okay that does cost one action Well, that's great. Now we don't have any, any shots anymore. That's also cool. Uh, I don't know. How does this even work? Okay, let's just disable you. Take a chill pill. And let's start chunking away. do that let's see can you I uh, maybe you hit 36 percent no no, sh no shredding for me um, okay next stupid idea let's get you a little bit closer I'm gonna battle scan I don't even know back here somewhere Running. 
absolutely nothing. Okay, you seem to have shots now. Great. Yes, Commander. On Overwatch. I was considering like to apply shredding, but then now I remembered this applies shredding. So that's good. On the move. That's pitiful. Um okay, I think I wanna move you somewhere back. Surely nothing bad will happen if everybody gathers around this car. be flanking us. Okay. More of those guys in red. Please don't come in. And another group on the side. Great. Well, that's kind of crowded now. in control of the situation here. Um, okay, clearly the sector bot needs to die. Um, this guy is going to be a problem. Like, we can destroy the cover for these two guys, but not for this guy, so we can't in the zone over there. Um, obviously, these two guys look menacing as hell. had jetpacks then we wouldn't have to worry about the berserkers that's gonna be a little bit tricky would like also to smoke up, but at the same time, um, if we're fighting these berserkers, then the smoke is not really a good choice. So I'm thinking these two shots against the Berserker will be the most effective we can do here. He's shredded, we do heat damage, even with smoke, crit is not going to be super likely. Um, there's a Berserker against the Sectorbot. Sectorbot Destroyer.
it should probably be enough. Yeah, so we can kill him with the um, <clears throat> with a snipe. And I'm fully aware that I'm standing here on the open. Not quite sure yet how I want to get out of this one. So I'm thinking cleaning up this flank as priority and then kind of keeping keeping the floaters busy um, something like that at least getting it done okay these two guys need some some chemical treatment So wait a second, um, it shouldn't really matter if I move, right? Because blaster bomb. I mean, it reduces my range, but what, what's my range anyway? What, what's my range here? What, what is my... Yeah, I think I can live with that if it reduces range a little bit. Okay, let's get you into cover. Then we can still blaster bomb three four is that really the extent of my range or is it because I'm not playing nice okay okay this is max range all right Start hitting these guys. I did not destroy the cover for that guy. Actually, wondering if I should just go for AOE suppression on those guys, but then that means I don't have rapid fire. Yeah, and I'm kind of running out of attacks here. Okay, that is probably it with the CCS shot. That's very likely it then. Okay, so we in the zone. One, two, three, four, I want to say. Jason, Jason. Rapid fire that. He's down. I 
I mean, that's that's a hundred percent shot either way. Let's just see here. Hundred, hundred. 180. That's 98. Well, I'm not steadied right now, right? So it doesn't really matter which order I take this. Pop and smoke. Let's start here. Sweela. Sweela. Didn't really pay attention to my ammo. I think I should have one more shot, yeah. Okay. Set the point. I was not at all worried there for a second. No, not at all. I was uh, clearly nothing uh, bad was gonna happen there. For you. Okay, so we do have a run and gun action here. Alternatively, I could telekinetic field or I could mind fray one of these guys. I could also get you to cover. You know, I kind of like the idea of um, another smoke here, telekinetic field. Jason is a little bit exposed. Probably a little bit too much. Five regular floaters. I'm sure they're gonna go for some civilians. Yeah, I'm standing on the open, but I'll I'll have what sixty defense. Together we are strong. It's like, no, nope, not shooting those guys. Okay, that group scares the hell out of me. Ah, great. More mutant berserkers. Target. And now we have that Running dry on ammo. bloody smoke here that I set up. Oh, that's um, somewhat annoying. That looked weird. That floater is like completely. Uh, didn't want to deal with that. Flew in, realized, oh, all my shots are crap. Okay. So, first of all, we need to stop that suppression. Are 
You're not one of the suppressed guys. Just not sure what I want to use to stop that suppression. Can we use our own suppression to stop that suppression? No, they're not. Use the rocket. Yeah. Launching. Step. I probably want to um, acid again here. All four of them. Do I want to move somewhere? Yeah, I think we're fine here for now. Gonna take a shot at that guy. Weapons empty, can engage. And We're green to go. like some some damage was dealt here Lock and load? I do, right? Yes, that's lock and load. Reloaded. So I'm gonna rapid fire on the beefy guy. Ah, I was thinking we hadn't CCS yet at him. So we should get another shot there. Hmm. Okay, let's take a shot at you. Potrzebna amunicja. Rekalibruje system celowniczy. Pozycja obronna, tutaj. Be cover so that because we don't have telekinetic field anymore this time. Um, okay, we can hit all three of them. Sorted. Yeah, it's just the two of you now. Hmm. 
Hmm. If I do what I think I want to do, then I will get a shot from that floater. I am not sure if... What's worse, getting a shot from the floater or getting a punch from a, from a berserker? The floater is also... Uh, acid it. I'm on it, Commander. Okay, um, come over here. Might have been actually a bit, little bit too much come over here. <sighs> mm. How are we gonna do this? Is there a way we can do this? Like my plan was now. I was hoping he could not go that far, and that I, when once his turn is back up, I would get another CCS shot. That was my plan here, to kill him. Um, now that's obviously not happening, it seems. Smoke's up. But this is also the really, really scary big mutant here. Um, question is, do I go for the shotgun or go for the rapid fire with the plasma rifle? I think the shotgun probably has the better chance of success. Shoot that civilian. Wow. Isn't it great that you all still have civilian targets? I mean, probably not for the civilians. I, I only care about what that what that berserker does. Sicker down there. You strong? Wow. That's uh, some damage. So kind of almost happy that it went for Chris and not for, um... Oh, come on, give me a fucking break! ET's trying to crawl up my flank, dummy. Need to find some new cover! They're shifting their attack! Down. Don't have any shots, don't have any ammo. Uh, everybody's flanked by a bunch of drones. You are down on 4 HP. This is just not good.
things I should have done first. Okay, let's uh, smoke again. And then acid. As much as possible over there. Shredded, they acided. I guess we can just start taking shots here. That damage number certainly helps. It almost feels like a waste to shoot another shot at him. Let's get two shots on that guy. Come on, give me, give me that crit. Yes. Killed the mutant in the process. Because why not? You know, and it's just two sector pots on the flank. No big deal, right? Yeah. Rapid fire or rapid fire? Who needs rapid fire on a day like this? Okay. Um. On it. There's heavy fire in this zone. Yeah, I noticed. Pop that guy, please. Moving Let's out. go here. My so, down to free floaters and four mutants. It's not a big deal here, right? Um, Locked and loaded. Let's do that, and you're the last one. Hmm. Seven damage plus shredded. Think I'm just gonna reload then. Yeah, I mean it's not looking. No, it's not not looking good for civilians. That's like, sure, when the two sector pots were still alive, I would have, I would have seen that, like, yeah. Oh, we're the mutants, we're gonna kill you now, but... Just, just look what I killed last turn. And I don't even have my in-the-zone sniper ready. I feel like the floaters are just like, okay, there's, there's no point fighting these guys, let's just suicide. No, we're fine, we don't need to find any cover. Okay, um, what's the best way to start off a turn? Yes, you guessed it. Get shredded punks. Good. Um, now, I'm just gonna say two floaters from four mutants. So there's currently one mutant un unaccounted for. So 
maybe I shouldn't just run out in the open. At least stay back a little bit. Talking about dead in the water here. Um, okay, let's do this. I was thinking the same thing. Mutants. Moving. Out of the game. Yeah, I completely forgot that you don't have any targets. Okay. Maybe we can actually find that last guy. He's like here around the corner? Here around the corner, hmm. Yeah, let's kill this guy. Upstairs? He might be upstairs. Moving to Overwatch. Come get some. No, I, I'm still like 240 episodes in, I still can't read the frickin' radar. Yeah, nice try, punk. I'm on it, Commander. Another successful operation. Is that is that normal though? The aliens on a terror mission? It, that felt like um that felt like a lot. I don't know. I mean yeah, it's a terror mission. It's Chris face tanking that berserker. Twenty-six days wounded. Okay, first of all, promotion here. So I'm thinking, against my best better judgment, that I'm gonna go for extra conditioning just to get even more willpower. Yes, this is nice damage, but once we get some, like, if you can consistently, psionically do psionic stuff, then you can psionic. 102 willpower. And we can train the next next thing. Now don't show me that screen with damaged equipment and the blaster launcher. You son of a We will be in touch, Commander. Eight day how am I gonna survive eight days without a blaster launcher? Um, 
I also saw a lot of comments like, yeah, you should get Wingtip Sparrowhawks. I feel like that's, at this point, the, we saw the, how little damage our laser cannons do, and this is basically um, rocket damage against the enemies, and like, yeah, I don't think that's worth the f even 15 Illyrium. Um, it's not gonna get that. I was thinking about, yeah, advanced flight, and now cyber disc racks. yeah, no, that's not gonna happen. Mm. That's all too expensive. How much did that panic screw us over though? Egypt? Yeah. It certainly kicked kicked it up a little bit. Hmm. I'm wondering, I'm still wondering if I want to do anything else with my Illyrium. Was, I was saving for the Vindicator, wasn't I? Yes, 120. Okay. Ethereal corpses from Russia. I mean, I don't have any use for those, I think, at least. Yeah, that's not. Um. Commander, we're tracking several reported abductions via the Hologlobe. I've got the coordinates locked in. Roadway abduction. Yeah, before I do anything else, go back to the side up. And get this guy into... Mind control training. 25% chance. <clears throat> and I'm not sure, is that 10% increased side training chance bonus from, from Mexico? Is that already in there? Would I otherwise have a 15% chance? Man, that. I don't even know. What am I looking for? I'm gonna roadway. You know what? That's kind of great Pathfinder territory. Yeah, you know what, I'm kind of feeling a, um, a triple mech set up here. Then, do we want to bring a, a rocket here? You know, I might actually just... Could promote one of our thousand sergeants to rocket here, just so that we have another one who can just... I mean, they just need to come in the mission with a of the blaster launcher which is broken at the moment anyway now I'm set okay hang on. change of plans guess we come in with an archer Don't even have an infantry ready. All oh, right, yeah, Trixie's still still injured from that fatal fatal attack there. I guess we're just gonna bring an assault then. Let's bring a star. 
and tradition friendly. Good. Kind of tempted to give you the Archangel ammo on the roadway map. Because otherwise, we probably won't have many chances for high ground. Should work. Do you get servos and something to aim? The gun sight and I leave one empty because ten mobility always seems a little bit on the low side. Fast enough. Maybe we just go with targeting module. Okay, then who got, gets the old Mac? I think you get the tanky one. But you get the bad weapon. should probably have some um, grenade launcher. Did somebody say grenade launcher? Okay, I think and you get a grenade launcher, a grenade launcher and a grenade launcher. need to be aware of that and basically use the squad side here mainly and not try any fancy tricks or oh, you know what? you only have two equipment slots in that case I'm gonna change that holo targeter and you get the stellarator because at least I mean you still have double tap so you might do some damage if you hit something okay a uh, roadway map for an alien abduction coming up in the next episode. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.